process, but I just want to start um, start at the end, really. By the time this movie is over, you have like blown the doors open of possibilities of where this this series could go, and I think you'll admit a lot of those ideas were te were present in the conceit of the franchise, but never teased out. So I want I wanted you to to talk a little bit about the process of. How, how early into the development of Universal Soldier 4 where you made the decision, I'm really going to go much further and m much off to the reservation as uh, from the original sort of franchise template of what you did with Regeneration, for instance? Yeah, I think uh, after uh, Universal Soldier Regeneration, which was the first one that I did in this series, um, that one, the end of that movie, introduced the idea of that they had abandoned the old, old technology they going into cloning. So first and foremost, I realized that if we're gonna do something that is taking the last movie into account, um, then you really can't go back to reanimating dead soldiers. I mean, that the mythology has to sort of progress if we're gonna honor the last movie at all. So I took that right there um, as a, as kind of a ticket to try to think of, all right, what kind of movie are we going to try and make here? First of all, what is the budget of the movie we have? I mean, that's always a consideration. What is the scale of the movie? And uh, if we don't have the money to blow up the world, which we didn't, then um, how do we make something that is going to be more of an internal story and more of an intimate, ultimately like a film noir type of story? And so uh, I took, you know, thought about movies like... Um, you know, Manchurian Candidate and things like that, where you have, where, where would they move forward? What would be the next thing they do? If you're trying, if you're going to be created, creating a, let's say, a slave race of soldiers, uh, wouldn't you start moving in the direction of creating operatives instead of just soldiers? And if you have operatives, then you are basically, what if you, you know, I think the central conceit was, what if you created... Um, it's all about creating the motivation to obey, right? It's about mind control. So if the first one was they created these, uh, they created these soldiers, and as is always the, uh, the kind of the hitch in the Universal Soldier series is that, well, you can create people who are going to be completely subvert, sub, subservient and going to obey, but then there's always a glitch, and one of them is not going to obey. And so how do you... Uh, how do you create um, a, a completely uh, mind-controlled human being? And so that brought us in the, into the direction of, well, if they're not aware that their mind is being controlled, if they are, if you've created uh, almost um, the illusion of free will, that they're acting on their own behest, then that sort of opens the door to a whole sort of uh, paranoid um, kind of thriller. And did you have any issues working with